Auntie Chucky here, and I'm a fifth-generation lobster fisherman from the coast of Maine. For many years now, my family has been fishing these waters. Being a lobsterman, or in my case, a lobster boy, is a tough job. But there's nothing we'd rather do, and no place we'd rather be. There's a lot about lobster fishing you probably don't know. Like, during the winter months, when it's too cold and icy for the boats to go out, lobster fishing pretty much comes to a stop. That's when we fix up our gear and even build new stuff. We bend heavy wire mesh to make new traps. We paint buoys with our own personal colors and design to identify our traps. And we rig our traps to keep the lobsters from escaping once they're inside. We all have our own jobs to do to make sure we're ready for the season. The question is, during the winter, how do we come up with live, authentic Maine lobsters people have come to expect? We want lobsters! We want lobsters! I'll share a little secret. One way we do it is called lobster pounding. But what is lobster pounding? Not exactly. Pounding lobsters in a natural cove like we have on Vinyl Haven is something that started here on this island. In 1875, the first lobster pound was built on Vinyl Haven Island, right here in Maine. It grew in popularity for a number of years, but it takes constant maintenance and constant maintenance of your dam. Over the years, the time-honored tradition of lobster pounding has almost gone away. We'd like to see this come back. We think it has a good future in Maine. Um, I have a pound in Port Clyde, and uh, it's a very active one. It's active because there's a walk right next to it where fishermen bring us their lobsters. But our Port Clyde pound can hold 60,000 pounds of lobsters. So it takes a long time every fall to get that many. We only use lobsters caught off the mid-coast of Maine in Tenants Harbor, Spruce Head, Port Clyde, Monhegan, and Vinyl Haven. Their cold waters and rocky bottoms are well known for producing the best lobsters in the world. When we catch lobsters, we put rubber bands around their claws to protect us from getting pinched. We hand select only the finest lobsters to stock our pound. Then we put them in containers called lobster crates until each crate reaches 90 pounds. The crates are then loaded onto a forklift. Then they're driven a short distance to be placed in our pound. It's important that we handle our lobsters with care so we don't injure their antennas because they need them to feel their way around when they're underwater. Once they've arrived, they're whisked away on their own private elevator and delivered to their new home. Then we lend a hand to help them move in. The rubber bands on their claws protect the lobsters from fighting with each other because they're very territorial. When lobsters are threatened, they can swim up to 11 miles an hour. How cool is that? Now all they have to do is find a nice, safe place to hide. The way they're pounded here is in a natural cove. They're not put in a little condominium package and kept with their arms close to their bodies for weeks, if not months. This is a natural pound where they can move around and when we take them out, they're just the way they went in. Uh, they're healthy, an authentic Maine lobster. To keep them healthy, not only do we feed them every day, we replace vital oxygen and nutrients by building our dams so rushing water from the changing tide comes in and goes out twice daily. So, assuming the dam does its job by keeping the lobsters inside, and we do our job of keeping away lobster bandits. Uh oh. Then, when someone wants to buy a fresh Maine lobster in the winter, all we have to do is go into the pound and find them. But that's not as easy as you might think. That's why we use a skilled diver to find the lobsters. The diver wears a special dry suit so he stays warm enough in the icy cold water to locate the number of lobsters he's looking for. 
all in, guys at the pound have to break up ice just for the diver to get in. Luckily, not today. Once he's underwater, he begins to swim through the pound, looking for lobsters. When he spots one, he picks it up and puts it in the trap. When his trap is full, he heads to the surface so the guys on the pound boat can haul in the load and then pick him up. This goes on through the winter until the lobsters are almost all gone, until the very last day. For this special final day, we wait for the perfect time when the moon is full and the tide is out the farthest and stays out the longest. Then we carefully lift the gate, holding back the water. And we drain the pound. The last lobsters are tricky and don't want us to find them. But with the pound mostly empty, where could they be hiding? Here? No! Maybe here? No! How about here? No! Actually, lobsters don't hide in any of those places. However, they do hide under rocks, in the mud, under pipes, under the dock, and in the last bit of water left in the pound. Wherever they hide, guys like me make it their goal to find every last one of them. It's a real dirty job, but fun. When we find them, we put them in crates. And when the crates are full, we float them in the remaining water in the pound to keep them fresh. Until we refill the pound, then we collect them all together. These crates full of lobsters are taken out of the water and hoisted up to the wharf where they're stacked. Picked up by a forklift and taken to our pound building. Once inside, they're placed in tanks of fresh seawater where they're allowed to soak and get nice and clean. Finally, our lobsters are ready to ship. We load them onto reefers. That's our way of saying refrigerated trucks. And they're delivered to people just like you. Well, that's the lobster pounding story. Hope you liked it. So long now. When people buy a Maine Lobster, they really need to know that it's an authentic Maine Lobster from trap to table. And so these pounds can keep the supply fresh year-round. Uh, they need a lot of management, but that's a goal that I have, is to rehabilitate the pounds here in Maine, make sure that we have authentic Maine Lobsters for people all year-round. Thank <laughs> you.